in this video, I'll be talking about the exceptions in the electron configuration of some of the transition metals. So, I said in previous videos that I would make several videos because there are many exceptions and this is one of them. When you write the electron configuration of some transition metals, there will be some exceptions. Trans so it's transition metals. So there are six transition metals that behave a, a little different, let's say. That is chromium, Cr, copper, Cu, pal palladium, Pd, silver, Ag, gold, Au, and finally molybdenum, Mo. And what happens to them is that for the case of chromium and molybdenum they like having a half filled D series uh, because they are transition metals they will be in the, in the D section of the periodic table as you may recall it's like uh, this is a horrible drawing it's like this part is D S P and F so the transition metals will be there. So they will have their last subshell will be the D. So this two like having a half filled D series or or D subshell. So half filled D orbital. Yeah, I may call an orbital subshell or series. It's, it's the same thing. So they like having, uh, let's say, D5 at the end. Yeah, so it's the D5. And then f for this four, they like having a full D orbital. So full. They like. They always like having. Uh, D10, and it's, it's what's the, the the case for them being an exception is that not all of them will have a D10 because none of the elements have the same configuration. So what they do is they steal the nearest electron to to like attain that goal because it makes them more stable. So they more to be more stable. they steal the closest electron and I'll, and I'll show you how this happens so I'll write the configuration for uh, gold yeah gold and I'm, I'm a fan of the of the periodic table method so I'll have to put that drawing but AU uh, so there you go AU where do we have gold 79 okay so 79 and just to save time I'll use the abbreviation using a noble gas you can see that I'll, I'll have to write this this whole thing before I can get here like it's it's a very long electron configuration so just by running the the closest noble gas it makes it so much easier so xenon 54 xenon and that's pretty much half of the electron configuration just gone let's see what we have after xenon it, it's a it's s but it's one two three four five six so it's six s two Six S two. Then we have here our this series lanthanide. So it's that that's F. So that means we'll have to take off two. So it's six minus two four. Four F and it's filled. 
So, 4F14. And finally, we get to our transition metals. So, our D subshell. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's 9. So, 5D9. And that's how you, how you, you would just write it, usually. But, gold is not very, like, very stable when it has 9 electrons in its, in its D subshell. So it likes stealing one. And because he wants a full one, we say, we see gold is one of the full orbital exceptions. It needs one electron to get there. So what it will do is, it will take the electron that's closest in energy to the to this so so our energy in in the 5d is 5 because n is equal to 5 so it'll look something that's close to that or higher so it will decide to take this electron and instead of having a 2 here it will have a 1 and this will become a 10 so it's a lot of exceptions. You have to memorize the tra the transition metals that have like that want a full orbital or a half filled orbital. So that's our first exception to the electron conf confusion rules. And in the following video, I'll talk about the exception of ions. Uh, if you thought the video was helpful, make sure to like it and share it with your friends.